only one left staying in the site. He's got three CTs coming after him right now. Lee takes him out though after that first kill. Not a bad try by Idun and the rest of the T team. Yeah, what, what happened at, like, how did we not know they were there? <laughs> this is a very well, interesting chatter. match so far. Very interesting. So let's bring the score up to 13 3 P 10 arc. Only a three round difference. Let's see if uh, can hold. Terrorists haven't had a win in six rounds. Actually, very yeah. similar to uh, what happened in the first half. Isn't it, Blonde? Bucket. But a bu yeah, it is, bucket. It is, it's, it's, it's pretty close. Blonde. <laughs> this, this is uh, Don't Call Bucket by Root Lane Day. That's what this is. Mr. Bucket. Mr. Bucket. <laughs> I don't know uh, why I keep calling you Bond. It is very similar to to the first half, except for uh, the terrorist had lost the first three rounds and right. had gone on a four round win streak after that. It had lost momentum and CTs went on a pretty long streak after that. But right. now it looks like terrorists won the first three rounds and CTs are just on a on no, fire okay. so far. So this round, it looks like they have the traditional... The terrorists look like they have their three terrorists yeah, set up in an apartment. Weird. But it looks like the bomb and Luker are going to push up Banana. Lee sitting in the back of sight with the op. He is peeking over that fence to see if they boost, getting ready to shoot anyone that looks over the fence. Sensei playing that uh, crossfire area near CT spawn. Luker, I mean, sorry, Lee's going to push up. He's going to see the two terrorists there. And there's also action going on at B site. Looks like the terrorists over at B site kill all the CTs in B. Yes. And as well and as killing themselves. Like, as well as killing themselves. There you go. So it looks like 3P is going to take this round. Maybe I spoke too soon or jinxed it for Ark. I am sorry, guys, if I did. But this brings 3P up to 14 wins and oh, Ark up to 10. All right, let's move out. Looks like the CTs are able to buy, looks like Terrace are able to buy. Terrace have been winning. Actually, no, I'm sorry, that was the uh, first Terrace win, win in a while. CTs able to buy again, even after that loss. They probably have a bunch of money saved up from all their other wins. Looks like the two Oppers are going to meet each other in Banana. Let's see who picks who off. Luker, oh, Lee! Luker pulling out that nade. Lee ready for him. The choke, that's going to be huge. They just lost their op. It's sitting there in the middle of the Banana. I don't think it's safe to grab Waggis with the bomb, the closest to it, but Lee's watching it pretty well with the with his own op. Looks like the terrorists are once again pushing three apartments. Seems to be, you know, their their bread and butter call. Uh, we have I Dun no, I'm sorry, Ha huh? playing uh, Boiler Room, Dunn and Sosiego, slowly pushing up Waterfall side. And for the CTs in B site, we have Monster Cam playing Pillar, Affinity, and Pits. Sensei and Blonde watching that uh, crossfire from CT spawn. Ha huh, is going to get taken out by Monster Cam, but man, he had no chance at all. There were three CTs watching that crossfire. Sosiego pushing up Boiler. Is he going to try to put... No, I'm sorry. Who is this? This is... It is Sosiego trying to push up Boiler. Done. Also peaking middle. But the CTs are still waiting there for them. I guess they figure, you know, they got to try B. They don't want to go against Lee with that off. It's really tough to take. And once again, crossfire in middle, punishing the terrorists. Bucket, in this situation, what do you do here? You've you've lost your op. You have you know, you know the CTs are crossfiring that middle area. Waterfall's so tough to jump out of. What do you do in this situation if you're a terrorist? You do nothing because you ran out of time. <laughs> So that'll bring uh, another win to the counter terrorist. That brings uh, Ark up to 11 and 3P up to 14. Uh, it'd be 14-12, uh, 14, 14, oh. I believe. 14-12. Let's see. 11? I think I'm, I'm off by one round. I apologize. 14-12. Thank you. So it is 14-12. Looks like CTs are going to be playing 3 in B, 2 in A. Lee again with the op. Sitting sandbags this time, maybe trying to switch it up. So his position isn't too routine. Looks like first they're going to try maybe a different approach this time. Well, they are pushing up apartments again. Luke are able to get that op pick uh, in apartments, taking out Affinity in Waterfall. 
Terrorist slowly pushing up B. Sensei playing in sight on, for the CTs. Monster Cam playing by Pillar and Blonde playing the uh, the crossfire at uh, CT spawn, but he gets taken out by Luker. Monster Cam takes out takes revenge zone, gets Luker. I done finishing off Monster Cam. It looks like the T's are going to push into B site. They bring the bomb and they are going to get a plant. The only one left is Lee with the op, but it is a one on three situation. Let's see if Lee can pull out another clutch. Takes out Hot. Takes out Sosiego. It's a one on one. I Dunn and Lee, the only ones left. Let's see if uh, uh, Dunn can hide. Lee. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry, not Dunn. Wagas. Wagas was. No, there was. It's a two on one. I'm sorry. I don't know why I thought there was also <laughs> why it was a one on one. You, you were off by one again. <laughs> It was. It off started off as again. a. It started off as a four v one, and then Lee had knocked it down to a two v one and was not able to capitalize. Thank you, Bucket, for the correction. I don't know. I guess I was looking at the map. I just didn't see that other red dot. So, Terra is able to pick up another win. I believe that brings up to fifteen twelve, if my math is serving me well. Uh, which it has not been for this cast, but that's okay. You don't need to know math. Tech and a reminder, hopefully. <laughs> a reminder, if we do go into overtime, it is uh, the new overtime rules where we'll start uh, to do three rounds each. First to leave it four, four wins, wins. Uh, start money is like 10k. Right, that's right. Overtime rules. Uh, looks like Luger is going to be pushing up banana for the terrorist team along with Wagass. Luger playing the logs. Lee and Sensei playing very passively, just getting that crossfire up. Looks like Lee not able to afford an op this round, or his team wasn't able to afford an op for him. Uh, Blonde, Monster Cam, and Affinity once again playing B site. Looks like regular positions. Looks like CT's uh, setting up uh, 3 and B, 2 and A, pretty standard. Uh, playing site, pit, I got, I got uh, that crossfire area, and trying to keep the op at, uh, at A as much as possible. Looks like the terrorist team is going to be pushing up mid here, trying to push up B. They're getting, they pass mid, they pass the crossfire. Let's see if uh, they can take the site. They have Affinity playing pit. Mon Affinity able to take out Sosiego, but his, and hot. Monster Cam and Sensei wow. taking out Dunn and Wagas. Unfortunately for the T's, doesn't look like they're going to get it this time. So that brings it up to 15, 13. We've only got two rounds left. Let's see if Ark can tie it up. If they can tie it up, we'll go into overtime. How oh, want me to buy a Diggle? Okay, let's go. So it looks like 3P is going to have to save for this round. Probably saving, hoping to save for that last round, trying to get that win for the last round, trying to get the win and not bring it into overtime. Uh, this should make it a little bit easier for Ark. Should win this one. Again, I hope I, hope I don't jinx it. Looks like Lee's playing the M4. Oh, and Sensei has the op this time. This should be pretty interesting. So if the CTs fail at A, we can all blame Sensei if he misses a bunch of his uh, op shots. You mm -hmm. think that's fair, Bucket? You think that's that, fair? That is fair. <laughs> since, uh, Sensei looks really like isn't gonna... that bad of an opper, though. He's not. I think uh, he's been practicing it. Seems pretty good. Looks like the parent are going to push up Banana, so we'll <laughs> get to see if uh, well, misses Sensei first fails shot. or not. Oh, here we go. Lee taking out the first. Lee taking out the second. Sensei hitting his first op shot. Sosiego will take, able to take out Lee. Sensei able to hit his second op shot. Sosiego the only one left against four CTs, and he does not have the bomb, and the CTs are slowly closing in on him. Sosiego able to take out Sensei. He now has the op. Let's see what he can do with it. Very possible for him to take out all three CTs at this time now that he's got the op. Looks like the CTs are going to play very passive, which I think is favorable for Sosiego since he's got the op. He can just peek one, kill, fall back, reload, well, wait he's for the also, next bullet, and then... You gotta remember, there's a time limit. He's at 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, that's right. We it looks like about the time. It's like he's gonna try and save that op sitting behind the uh, concrete bags. Looks like I the... think so too, but it doesn't look like the CTs are gonna let him. Oh, and they are going to check that sandbag, and they are going to take out Sosiego. Nice try for Sosiego. So we are going to go into the last round here. That was a win for Ark. That brings it up to 15 3P, 14 for Ark. This last round, Ark really needs to take this in order to tie so they can go into overtime. Looks like the terrorists can kind of sort of buy. They've got two AKs, a couple pistols, three AKs. 
trying to throw it around. Uh, is that four? No, three AKs? Three AKs. Looks like it's going to go to Luker, Dunn, and Sosiego? Is that right? Three or four AKs? Uh, One, two, three, I think? I see three. I see three as well. So the bomb's sitting back near T-spawn. Looks like they are going to go apartment. Maybe going to try their bread and butter call again, split on B from apartment. For the CT side, we have Affinity playing Pit, Monster Cam playing in the site, and Blonde playing that CT cross fire area in mid again. Um, you know, I hope the terrorists have caught on to this. Maybe if they have nades, they can try to pre-nade those, uh, those areas. I see a couple nades for the terrorists. Affinity playing in pit. I like Affinity playing in pit for the CTs because every time the CTs have tried to get aggressive and actually go into the apartments from waterfall side, they've usually died and the terrorists have taken the site. So it looks like the right. T's are going to creep up here. L Luker leading the way, probably going to try to get that pick or, or at least peak graveyard. And oh man, a flash. They're, they are throwing flashes. I think they are going to take the site. T's are committing, bringing the bomb into B. They do take out Affinity. Luker takes out Affinity and Pit. Monster Cam alone in the site, takes out Sosiego, but the rest of the terrorist team is there. It's turning to a three on four, only three CTs remaining. Ark really needs this win. Lee taking out Luker, that's going to be big. Wagas doesn't have very much health. Idun gets taken out. Huh and Wagas, the only ones left. Wagas only has a sliver of health left sitting in the site, and he's going to get smoked out and taken out by Lee. And so it does look like, like Ark is going to take this win if they can get the bomb. And they do, so we will be going into overtime. Great game by both teams. Bucket, what did you think? That went very... That was very good. Very, very interesting match. It looks like they are uh, doing a two-minute break before overtime. Yep. That's right. Bucket, did that you think that the match would end this way in a straight-up tie, even tie? I did not think it would. I thought I actually voted for 3P in the uh, prediction thread. I voted for 3P to come out on top, and I, I was wrong. Well, it's not over yet. Well, we'll see. We're in overtime. Yeah, you know, I had a feeling this would be close. I did, you know, gun to my head. I did think that 3P was going to win. They are favored. They are the favored team by many in this tournament. But, you know, we can't discount ARC. They have some really good players. I think that, you know, looking at their roster, Monster Cam is really good. Affinity also showing that he can hold a site. Um, uh, Monster Cam getting picked up fourth by Australian. Affinity getting picked up fifth by Australian, if I remember the draft correctly. Both of those pretty late picks, and it's, you know, proving to serve Australian well here. Three underrated players, Monster Cam and Affinity, so we'll see what happens in overtime. Yeah, we will. This should be a very, very interesting outcome. Didn't expect Ark to come back with that comeback there on a CT side, but like I said, if you have a, if you do get those five wins on T side in the first half, you uh, you greatly increase your chance of doing good on CT side. And as Sark right. has proven, they were able to take it to a tie. They didn't get the win, but... Right, right, right. And, you know, regardless of who wins, I think this has just been a really great match. Damn those CT. So, Bucket, I'm actually not familiar with the overtime rules. Can you maybe go over the overtime rules really quick, if you know them? I... Uh, yeah, it's... Uh... For uh, well, one second, let me I'll pull up that card real quick just to be cl uh, clear on it. But from what I, I understand, it's three rounds, well, six rounds, three rounds each side. A first team to win four rounds will be declared the winner. Uh, start money is usually uh, 10k. And still, still same round time, freeze time. Uh, hey, let me uh, just pull up this thread to read off the exact rules. Sure. Overtime will be played immediately following the scheduled match. League OT rules apply to pretty much remain the same as they finished. Uh, 10k start money, best of 6 rounds. Uh, if we end up getting tied again, we'll just keep going. 3 rounds each side. Till whoever gets the uh, 
four wins. That's good. So we are still in our break here. Looks.